Second question, what is it? How far away is the rainbow? Now look at this. There is a particular angle at which sunlight should enter those raindrops for us to be able to see either a first order or a second order. So let's take first order for example. So there exists a particular angle at which the raindrops should be from us for us to be able to see a rainbow through them. So there exists raindrops that are suitable for a rainbow. Now clearly, any raindrop along that angle will create a rainbow for us. But how many such raindrops exist? If the world was 2D, if it was flat land, only one. But the world is three-dimensional. So if I was to take that and circle it around, what would you get? A complete cone. So every raindrop along that cone has or contributes to a rainbow. So it's pretty much like this. If you're standing out there, a cone of raindrops away from you, each of, each of those raindrops on that cone are creating a rainbow for you. Brilliant, right? So where exactly is the rainbow? Is it far away? Is it close by? It's everywhere. Everywhere between you and the rainbow is the rainbow at that cone. So clearly if it's a second order rainbow, you have a larger cone and a rainbow forms outside of it in a more divergent manner. So we've answered a few of these questions. There are many more we haven't yet answered, but you can think about them, be curious and go and find out even more about rainbows. It's a pretty simple mechanism with magnificent effects.